Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Lynn Life. Today is the beginning of a great adventure. It's the day of the total solar eclipse and we're going to head north and find a place to view it. And uh, it's a bit of an adventure because I really don't know what to expect when it comes to crowds. I'm trying to take secondary roads so to try to avoid people. But when I get to my final destination, it could be crowded there. I'm not sure. It's the one thing I can't control. Um, sun's out, though. Sun is out. There it is. It's right there. Right in my face. And uh, at about 3.30 today, or a little before 3.30, that should be completely blocked out by the moon. So we got a lot to do. So come along. Let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. So the Jeep is packed. We got, uh, let's see, three folding chairs and Lynn's wheelchair in the back because there's four of us going. It's myself and Lynn, uh, our son Justin, and Lynn's aide is going with us. So we, uh, we have three folding chairs and Lynn's wheelchair in the back. We have plenty of food. I got uh, sandwiches, I got snacks, I got dessert items, I got plenty to drink. Uh, Lynn said she wanted Gatorade. I don't know where that came from. I was asking I'm going to the store, Lynn, what do you want? And so she came out with Gatorade. So I got her Gatorade. We also have water. Justin has some Mountain Dew, because he likes his blue Mountain Dew. Um, I got my camera equipment. We got Lynn's pills, that she's going to need it. Um, I think we have got changes of clothes for her. Um, got everything it's uh, the uh, the car is pretty well packed and head up earlier take our time and see what happens and um, and you're coming along with us so uh, it, it should be fun and now uh, I know by the time you see this the uh, eclipse will have been done for quite a while but I'm just recording this to show you our experience and um, so um, there be, there's, um, by now you've already seen plenty of pictures and video and stuff of the eclipse and I'm not here to really show that I just want to show us experiencing it and uh, so that's what this is going to be all about and I want to see I want to be able to try to hopefully capture it going from light from light to dark to light again and who knows, maybe we'll run into some other people up there and we'll get to know some other people. I expect there'll be plenty of people watching. So, should be a fun experience. have arrived we are in Pulaski right Lynn we are here we are here and we found a, a place where some other people are watching uh, actually just outside Dunkin Donuts right and uh, we drove around we actually went over towards the lake but it got a little confusing over there I don't think you can park I saw a lot of people walking towards the lake but I don't know where they parked so we came back we saw some people gathered here, and this is where we are. We're gonna make, we made camp, right? Plus, Lynn's in her wheelchair, and she could, uh, she could go to the bathroom in Dunkin' Donuts, should she have to go. So, that's, this is where we're gonna be now. It's just a waiting game, right? Sun's out at the moment. It's, uh, it goes in and out of the clouds. There are clouds, but it's, uh, it's pretty mild out. 
probably 60 some odd degrees Can out I right now. Lynn wants her uh, sunglasses. I got her sunglasses. I'm gonna give those to her now. Okay. Okay. An update. It's almost almost 2:30, and it's getting going? getting kind of uh, cloudy. I can't quite see the sun now. Though, if this one patch moves, I can see blue sky over there. So, it's uh, it tough to say. Rain. No, it's not gonna rain, Lynn. Lynn says it's gonna rain. Uh, I think we're gonna be fine. It, we may not see the sun like we would like to actually see the eclipse, but we're going to see it go from light to dark to light again, and that'll be interesting. And we're pretty comfortable. We're in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot, and uh, there's a whole bunch of people here, and uh, more people coming, people getting out their lawn chairs, and we're just hanging out, and Lynn, and her aide are going to uh, go into Dunkin' Donuts and uh, they're going to the bathroom. Let's go into the bathroom. That was a big thing. We had to, uh, I had to find a place where we could go in and go to the bathroom. And uh, for Lynn, or all of us for that matter, and uh, maybe get a Dunkin' Donuts coffee as well. Sounds good. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up with one of those in my hand soon. But, um, yeah, it's comfortable out here. It's in the low 60s. Would be nice if the sun was out. But I think this gray thing is lifting a little bit. I have a feeling that the, uh, the sun is going to expose itself in time for the uh, the eclipse. I just have a feeling, or at least a little bit. It might be a little bit diffused, but uh, we'll be okay. Are you ready for the eclipse, Lynn? Are you yeah. waiting for it? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? On the way you're over here, you were saying, so them. when? So when are the fireworks? You said. <laughs> no. Yeah, what's going to happen? The sun. Yeah, the sun's going to get blocked out by the moon. The moon. Should we? The moon's going to block the sun. Up there? No, you don't have to move anywhere. But uh, what is it going to get dark? It is going to get dark. I know it is. And then light again. Right and in the then, middle of the day. Yes. That'll be exciting, huh? Yes, it will. Yeah. Okay, well, this is exciting. Guess what? The sun has peeped through, and when wearing the glasses, we can see it. We can actually see, yeah, you can see the moon moving in front of the, uh, the sun. It looks like a little bite's been taken out of it, and it's, it's coming in at a different angle, an angle that I, I, I didn't expect. It's kind of coming from the bottom up. And uh, we can definitely see it. I'm going to start the time lapse on my GoPro shortly. And uh, that's just going to show it getting dark and then light again. I'm not going to try to uh, photograph the actual eclipse itself. I really don't have the right equipment for that. So I'm not going to bother to try. I just want to, I'm going to record us experiencing the event. And so exciting, we can actually see it. We can actually see it. So I was worried about the clouds, but um, we got a patch here, very, very uh, patchy clouds. And uh, it's, a, it's allowing us to actually see the eclipse. What do you think, Justin? Yeah. Yeah, Pretty cool. cool. This yeah. is your first solar eclipse, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And Justin's into uh, yeah, like space. Yeah, space, astronomy, mm -hmm. that type of thing. He's kind of into that stuff. So well, this is interesting because we're, I feel like we're part of it. Yep. We're part of it. We're, wow, there's a big patch of blue sky I can see. Wow. So, and now it's getting a little bit dark again. <laughs> so there's, it's going in and out. But we are, we do get to see it. And uh, if I don't see any more, that's okay. You know, we'll see the uh, see the 
see everything get dark. There's all quite a few people here around us now. Quite a few people here in the parking lot. It's almost there. All right. I'm going to go take a look. Yeah. I'm going to take a look at my glasses again. I think it's getting a little bit darker. Uh, it's kind of gone behind the clouds. I can see where it is. I uh, can't really see it with these glasses right now. But if you glance up quickly through the uh, through the clouds, the clouds are diffusing it, and you can actually see it. You can actually see it. Justin's actually taking a couple pictures with his cell phone, and you could you could actually see the eclipse with the phone. There, there it is. But I'm so so happy we. The, uh, the clouds broke enough for us to actually see it. Very cool, so. And I think it's getting a little bit darker right now. You could probably tell. Well, right here, right there, over my shoulder, is there this? no, this one, you can see some blue sky. Okay, so, yeah, so, yeah. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. All are people viewing the eclipse. This isn't something you do alone. You do it with others. It's cool. You got some picnic blankets out. Some people are photographing it or videotaping it. There's a lot of others too. Some of the people over here viewing it people over there I see plates from Pennsylvania some other states people have come a long ways to uh, to experience this all right we don't have there's not a whole lot left of the Sun it's like a sliver and it's supposed to be like 334 or something like that is totality. And we're at 306. So uh, less than a half an hour to go. We're going to be in total, total eclipse. Things should get dark. I'm so happy I can see it. I can actually see it. It's really cool. It's getting darker. And I'm feeling a temperature change. The temperature is really dropped, and the street lights are coming on. The street lights across the street. The dim lights yeah. are coming. The lights are coming on. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's getting darker. I notice over there too. Yeah. So it's starting. It's getting darker, <laughs> and uh, we're almost there. We're almost in totality. See. <laughs> The street lights have come on here in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot because the eclipse is up there. You can actually see it through the clouds. But everything's getting dark. Yeah. Really cool. Now it's now it's dark. I had to really turn the iris up a little bit. I'm being illuminated by the street light. But this is, this is dark. This is it. What time is it, Justin? 3.23 p.m. Yeah, 3.23. 3.23 and it is pitch black. Pitch black. <laughs> Here we are, away from the street light. All the lights have come on. It's totally, I've never experienced this. I've never experienced this before. This is, I didn't, I expect to get a little bit dark. No, this is, this is nighttime. <laughs> this is nighttime right here. It's gone. The sun is gone. I understand that years ago, like, you know, Native Americans, People like that, ain't, you know, are people back in, you know, many, 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 many years ago who didn't understand this stuff. If this happened in the middle of the day, it would freak you out. Wow. 
totality. Okay, now off in the distance, I can see in the horizon, I could see it getting bright again. So we've passed the period of totality and it's going to start getting bright again. And there it is. It's getting bright again. I can see it. Quickly, too. Look at it. As I shoot this, it's getting brighter. And I can see the sun now peeking out on the other side. The moon is past that. Did you see that? This is incredible. What an experience. Here we are, it's back, it's, it's like morning. Sunrise, sunrise. And we just heard the birds start to chirp again. I didn't notice that they had stopped, but I did notice when they started again, right? When it just started getting dark, a seagull there was yelling. Yeah, there was a seagull there yelling just as it started getting dark. Then we didn't hear anything. And just now, I hear, hear birds chirping. Like, like morning is broken. Very, very cool. You know, cool experience. Happy we did it. And I'm, ha I'm happy that Lynn got to experience it. Yeah. Lynn, how was your total it eclipse was experience? Fun. Did we did we get in the dark? Was it yeah, dark a little while it ago? Was. <laughs> was right it right in the middle of the day? Did it turn a dark for you? Yeah, I was right here with you, so it turned dark for me too. And the street lights turn up they're still on. They'll yeah. shut off soon. And uh, yeah, it was completely dark. How cool. They are shutting off. Oh it did, it shut off. Street light just shut off. Thank you, Lynn. I didn't notice that. So, that's fun. I had a good time. Good. I'm glad. I love you. And I'm, glad I, I'm glad I got to experience it with you. I am too. I love you. And I love you. Thank you. Well, I think my time lapse might have been a bust. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know. I think I had something set wrong and it, it only recorded for like five minutes. It's okay, because I did get a shot. I kept the camera rolling. I have a shot of it actually going, getting, going from dark to light. So we got the experience. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy we did this. Lynn is happy we did this. Uh, she won't remember it, but she, but I have this vlog to show her. I have pictures to show her. And uh, I'm so glad that she was here and she got to experience it. We got a little bit of a ride home. I think we're going to stop somewhere and get some treats. And uh, that should be fun. Maybe some ice cream, something like that. And uh, make, it a, make it a fun day. So, I hope some of you... Tell, tell me, leave, leave comments. I want to know. Uh, did you get to experience this eclipse or another eclipse? I'd like to know. And oh, and don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe, help us out, help the channel out. It takes a second to hit like. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. All right, and uh, I think that's about all we got for this adventure. And we'll see you next time on the Lin Line.